Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to embark on a journey beyond the boundaries of our known universe, where time and space intertwine in ways unimaginable. Welcome to a world where science fiction becomes science fact. Today, we delve into the mind-bending phenomenon of wormholes. Throughout history, humans have been captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos. Countless questions have plagued our curious minds. Are we alone in the vastness of space? Can we travel to distant stars? And most intriguingly, are there shortcuts that can bridge the vast cosmic distances? Enter the realm of theoretical physics, where visionaries like Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen dared to challenge our understanding of reality. Their groundbreaking work paved the way for one of the most enigmatic concepts in the universe, the wormhole. Imagine a tunnel connecting two distant points in space-time, like a cosmic shortcut through the fabric of the universe. A wormhole is a hypothetical passage, a cosmic portal that may allow us to traverse unimaginable distances in the blink of an eye. In this awe-inspiring video, we will embark on an exploration of the mind-bending possibilities that wormholes present. We'll journey into the depths of theoretical physics, exploring the principles and challenges of these cosmic gateways. Join us as we uncover the fascinating intricacies of wormholes, from the theoretical constructs to the tantalizing prospects of time travel and interstellar voyages. We'll examine the scientific concepts, the ongoing research, and the tantalizing hints that suggest these cosmic tunnels may exist. Prepare to have your perception of reality stretched to its limits. Join us as we venture into the mysterious realm of wormholes, where science and imagination collide, and the possibilities are truly boundless. Welcome to the mesmerizing world of wormholes. Let the exploration begin. Certainly. Wormholes are fascinating hypothetical structures that emerge from the principles of theoretical physics, specifically from Einstein's general theory of relativity. They are often depicted as tunnels or shortcuts connecting two distant points in space-time, allowing for the possibility of traversing vast cosmic distances in an instant. In order to understand wormholes, it's essential to grasp the concept of space-time. According to Einstein's theory, space and time are not separate entities but are intricately interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. Massive objects, such as planets or stars, warp this fabric, creating what we perceive as gravity. Now, imagine visualizing space-time as a two-dimensional sheet. In normal circumstances, the shortest path between two points on the sheet would be a straight line. However, a wormhole would act as a bending or folding of the sheet, bringing two distant points into close proximity, allowing for a shortcut or a bridge between them. Wormholes consist of two mouths, often referred to as the entrance and the exit. These mouths can be located in different regions of space-time or even in different universes altogether. The space-time within a wormhole may exhibit properties such as extreme curvature or negative energy density, which are not commonly found in our observable universe. To understand the nature of wormholes, physicists have developed mathematical solutions based on Einstein's equations of general relativity. The most famous solution is known as the Einstein-Rosen bridge, named after its discoverers. It represents a wormhole connecting two black holes. However, traversing a wormhole is not as simple as stepping through a door. Many challenges and complications arise when contemplating their practical use. One significant obstacle is the issue of stability. Wormholes tend to collapse or become traversable only under highly specific and exotic conditions, such as the presence of exotic matter with negative energy density. Exotic matter refers to hypothetical forms of matter that possess unusual properties, including negative energy density or negative mass. Such matter is purely speculative at this point, and its existence has not been confirmed by empirical evidence. Another hurdle is the potential for causality violation. If a wormhole were to allow for time travel or if information could be transmitted faster than the speed of light through it, it could lead to paradoxes and violations of causality, such as the grandfather paradox, where one could travel back in time and prevent their own existence. It is important to note that, to date, there is no direct observational evidence supporting the existence of wormholes in the universe. They remain purely theoretical constructs based on our current understanding of physics. However, wormholes continue to captivate the minds of scientists and inspire ongoing research, as they represent a frontier of knowledge and the potential to revolutionize our understanding of space, time, and the nature of the cosmos. In conclusion, wormholes are hypothetical structures that arise from Einstein's general theory of relativity. They are envisioned as tunnels or shortcuts through space-time, connecting two distant points. While their existence and practical use remain speculative, they serve as intriguing subjects for scientific exploration and fuel the imagination with possibilities of interstellar travel and even time travel. 
Understanding the mathematics behind worm handles requires delving into the equations of general relativity which govern the curvature of space-time. The fundamental mathematical framework for worm handles involves Einstein's field equations and solutions derived from them. Einstein's field equations describe the relationship between the distribution of matter and energy in the universe and the curvature of space-time. These equations can be written as R, 1 half, RG equals FGT here, R represents the Ricci curvature tensor, R is the scalar curvature, G is the metric tensor representing the geometry of space-time, G is the gravitational constant, and T is the stress-energy tensor representing the distribution of matter and energy. To explore wormholes, we need to find solutions to these equations that satisfy certain conditions. The most famous solution representing a worm handle is the Einstein-Rosen bridge, discovered by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen in 1935. The Einstein-Rosen bridge solution involves considering a scenario with two black holes. The metric tensor describing the space-time around each black hole is known as the Schwarzschild metric. By combining these two metrics, a wormhole geometry emerges, connecting the two black holes. Mathematically, the Einstein-Rosen bridge solution can be represented as ds2 equals e r dt2 plus e r2 1 b r slash r plus r2 d2 plus into d2 here ds2 is the infinitesimal interval t represents time r is the radial coordinate is the polar angle is the azimbal angle and e r and b r are functions that describe the geometry of the wormhole the function e r determines the redshift factor which affects the flow of time and characterizes the gravitational time dilation the function b, r, is known as the shape function and determines the shape and size of the wormhole. To ensure the existence of a traversable wormhole, the shape function, b, r, must satisfy certain conditions. For instance, the shape function should be finite, and it should reach a minimum value of some radius to allow for the throat of the wormhole. The throat is the narrowest part of the wormhole, connecting the two mouths. The mathematics of worm handles also involves examining the energy conditions within the wormhole. These energy conditions describe the properties of matter and energy distribution in space-time. For a traversable wormhole, the energy conditions must be violated, specifically the null energy condition and the weak energy condition, as these conditions prevent the formation of wormholes. Violation of energy conditions is typically associated with the presence of exotic matter, which possesses unusual properties, such as negative energy density or negative mass. Exotic matter is still a purely speculative concept and has not been observed in nature. It's important to note that exploring the mathematics of worm handles is a complex endeavor, often requiring advanced mathematical tools and techniques, including differential geometry, tensor calculus, and nonlinear differential equations. In summary, the mathematics behind worm handles involve solving Einstein's field equations of general relativity and seeking solutions that satisfy the necessary conditions for a traversable wormhole. The Einstein-Rosen bridge is a well-known solution that represents a wormhole geometry connecting two black holes. The shape function and the energy conditions play crucial roles in determining the properties and viability of a wormhole. However, it's important to remember that wormholes remain theoretical constructs, and their existence in the universe is yet to be confirmed. The origin of worm handles can be traced back to the fundamental concepts of general relativity, which was developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century. General relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity by describing it as the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of matter and energy. Einstein's field equations, the mathematical framework of general relativity, relate the curvature of space-time to the distribution of matter and energy. They provide the foundation for investigating the existence and properties of wormholes. The concepts of worm handles gained prominence in the 20th century through the works of physicists such as John Wheeler and Kit Thorne. In the 1950s, Wheeler coined the term worm handle to describe hypothetical tunnels connecting distant regions of space-time. Theoretical studies on wormholes intensified in the 1960s and 1970s when physicists started exploring the mathematical solutions of Einstein's field equations to understand the possibilities of such structures. One of the key milestones in wormhole research was the discovery of the Einstein-Rosen bridge in 1935 by Einstein and Nathan Rosen. This solution represented a wormhole connecting two black holes. The Einstein-Rosen bridge solution provided a mathematical framework for studying wormholes, but it had limitations. It was not traversable, meaning that it would collapse or be otherwise impassable for anything trying to go through it. However, subsequent research aimed to explore the possibility of traversable worm handles by violating the energy conditions of matter and energy distribution. 
These energy conditions, such as the null energy condition and the weak energy condition, typically prevent the formation of troposable wormholes. Violating these conditions often necessitates the presence of exotic matter with negative energy density or negative mass, which is purely speculative at this point and has not been observed in nature. The concept of troposable wormholes gained further attention in the late 1980s when physicists Michael Morris, Kit Thorne, and Ovi Yards have reformulated the morris thorne troposable wormhole solution. Their work showed that, in theory, it was possible to construct a troposable wormhole using exotic matter with negative energy density. Since then, physicists have continued to explore the mathematical properties and implications of wormholes, including their stability, construction methods, and potential applications for interstellar travel or time travel. However, it's important to note that the existence of wormholes in the universe remains purely speculative, and no observational evidence has been found to support their presence. In summary, the origin of wormholes can be traced back to the development of general relativity by Einstein. Theoretical research, mathematical solutions, and the exploration of exotic matter have contributed to our understanding of wormholes. While their existence and practical use remain speculative, wormholes continue to captivate scientific inquiry as intriguing possibilities for cosmic shortcuts and journeys through space-time. Goodbye.